Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts and finally we can move on with this game. In the last episode we finished our fetch quest, or hopefully. I haven't edited that video yet and I haven't recorded any post commentary so hopefully that is what has happened. You can see that the, the background music for the gummy level isn't as light, light um, hearted I guess, like hearted as it was before, very uh, kind of epic a little bit, it's a lot darker, it's like very um, atmospheric, you know that you're building up to a climax when you see the background change into a vortex, a dark vortex. Yes. So where could we possibly be going? I wonder. When I first played through this, I'm like, damn. This stuff's about to get real. Let's just speed through this real quick. Oh, Jesus, I better not lose. This coming mission would be insulting. Yeah, it is April 30th. Shoot, come on, no, don't! Oh my god, I almost died. Here we are. Welcome to Hollow Bastion, where Maleficent resides. Look at that! I know this place. All of that. That is a really feel this warmth inside right here. You're just hungry, or maybe it's a heart attack. Hey, I'm serious. Go. He goes there. All right. So this is Hollow Bastion, and this is—I don't know—but like Square really knows how to make a make an epic build-up. So real quick, these bubbles here—I don't know what the purpose of these are. To be honest, you go in this bubble, and it takes you under the water, where you can walk around for a few seconds before it just decides to just take you back up. There's nothing even down here to get. So I don't know what the purpose is. However, we could jump a little bit further up. There's a chest down there. So I think we'll go for that one. What's in here? Oh, more donations. Yay! You almost have all the donations. Isn't that crazy? Chest over there that we can glide to. So now the glide is pretty much required to get some of these chests, as it was in like when we went through the fetch quest. But now this is just to actually progress through the level. You need to be gliding. Shoot! 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 shoot. Nope. Back up. All right. Jump, Sora. There you go. This inside of that is a blizzard ring. All right, I think this bubble takes us somewhere. It also takes us underneath the water, but on this side of the little, there's a, yeah, there's a chest here. What? Well, that was a waste of time. Let me out. Oh man, it puts me here. All right. So yeah, Hollow Bastion, it's, uh, this is a world that's not by Disney, this is, from here on out, it's all Square's doing. 
so... I guess that's why these worlds are so awesome. Oh, what? No vessel, no help from the Heartless. So tell me, how'd you get here? Hmm. Uh, I simply believed. Nothing more to it. When our world fell into darkness, Bell was taken from me. I vowed I would find her again, no matter what the cost. I believed I would find her. So here I am. She must be here. I will have her back! Take her if you can. Crazy backflip. Censored for your protection. Stop! So, you finally made it. About time. I've been waiting for you. We've always been rivals, haven't we? You've always pushed me, as I've always pushed you. Riku! But it all ends here. There can't be two Keyblade Masters. What are you talking about? Let the Keyblade choose. It's true, Master! Use the Force, Sora! And that is why you fail. <laughs> Maleficent was right. You don't have what it takes to save Kyrie. It's up to me. Only the Keyblade Master can open the secret door. And change the world. But that's impossible. How did this happen? I'm the one who fought my way here with the Keyblade. You were just the delivery boy. Sorry, your part's over now. Here, go play hero with this. Why were you carrying that around this whole time? You sentimental bastard. What? We have to remember our mission. Oh, well, I know the king told us to follow the key and all, but... Slow up. Slow Betrayed by your friends. Nothing to give you comfort except a wooden sword. Hey, don't move! You're hurt! Why? Why did you... you come here? I came... to fight for Bell. Want some That's cure magic? Me too. I'm not gonna give up now. I came here to find someone very important to me. Alright, so now we have Beast in our party. And Beast is, well, beastly. If you look at his stats, well, he has more health than me. He's a higher level than me. And I have 29 strength and 28 defense. He has 40 strength and 35 defense. So he's like, damn. He has more than 10 strength than me. So, that's pretty, pretty crazy. At least we can still open chests with this wooden thing. So we gotta go get the Keyblade back, that's the first thing, because, well, you'll see. Alright, so there's this... Hollow Bastion is very reminiscent of... It's like a blend between the old Final Fantasy games where things happen in villages, and like the new ones where it happens in like 
technologically advanced cities. So you're gonna have to have uh, bees do most of your fighting for you. Because as you can see, look at that. Like my regular attacks does does next to nothing. So you're gonna have to be reliant on beast and uh, and your magic. Great. All right. See ya. So you're gonna mainly be using your gravity magic because that's the most useful magic you have right now because it can do the gates are shut. Okay. What you can do is just jump over the edge here. It'll take you down here. These things are called dark balls. Yeah, they're getting really creative with the names here. Uh, the dark balls do the same thing like the shadows where they move around and there's like temporary moments where they can't hit you. But when they come back into existence, they you can't well, they hurt you if you're too close. See that when they come back, they hurt bees and stuff. So they're all the enemies in this entire level are just incredibly, incredibly annoying. Like, um, what do you call it? You know, they're, they're either very difficult to hit, they do a whole bunch of damage, or there's just so many of them at one time. You know, remember like the so there's a Firaga rank. But if you remember, like, the search ghosts, how they're annoying because they, like, you know, basically disappear and then they reappear somewhere where you, you're not really ready for them and it just wastes time as well. That's kind of like those dark balls or those fat bandits from Agrabah. Those are, you know, you saw that guy with the shield. That's called a defender. He is the strongest and regular enemy that you're going to be facing. Debatably. He definitely has like the most health and defense, so he's the most survivable, but yeah. Can't carry any more of a certain gummies. Didn't think that was possible. So let's go this way. There's a puzzle here where you activate these buttons and it causes these panels to shift around. So as you do that, you know, activate one, activate the next one. It often causes a glitch with your teammates where they keep walking in the walls or something. So don't worry about your teammates. See, look at that. Attaboy, beast. Try and put in a few more miles before we quit this workout. Yeah, so I'm talking kind of softly right now because it's 1 in the morning. I can't get to sleep. So I figured I might as well record another video. Hey, there's a button in there that I can press, but I don't know how to get to it. I've played around with the buttons in this area for a while. I'm sure that leads to some sort of secret. But, uh, nah, I don't know. So what's here? So we can activate this one. That will activate this platform. Who designed this castle? It's crazy. I've never seen any sort of technology. Ooh, Defender. No, not that. Who's gravity? Yeah, and the defender can use magic. He's resistant to magic in general. He can use fire, blizzard magic. I think he can use thunder as well, but I don't really know. Okay, so we open that door that said before the, d the gates are shut. So, let's head on back. Actually, no, there's one more thing that we can do. But first, we need to... Okay, how do I do this? I got to activate this one. Closes that. And I activate this button. Which opens this area. And I'll do it. Now I can get back. Ooh, which This way. There's a button through there as well, but I'm not sure how to get to that one either. So this is very, very confusing for me. Anyways, let's go into the bubble. 
Like, who designed these bubbles? I mean, when I first played through this game, I'm like, uh, okay, but, you know, video game logic. How does any of this stuff make sense? <sighs> Great, I'm getting Gmail messages right now. Don't want them. I don't want to deal with these people, but I need to deal with them in order to... Uh, yeah. I need to deal with these guys in order to open chests and stuff. Hit them, beast! Ow! There we go. What beast is saying there, he's saying step aside. Stop G-chatting me. Seriously. Trying to record a video. Uh, I guess I can go through this bubble. Which time are we at? We're at 16 minutes already. We barely even started this level. All right, we gotta finish this puzzle real quick, like that. All right, so what you could do is just like a Zelda puzzle. You can push this block so you can jump on it. Get to here. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here. You can glide over to this area. You can open this chest to get more gummies, because you can never have enough gummy pieces. Got a mithril. Oh, I never made that AP up. Could have been useful. Release this, that bring that out. Um, so you can glide to it. And here we are. So now we can make it into the waterway. I think this comes in handy later when we need to come back or something. I actually have no clue at all, but... Let's see... There's a chest here that we can open. Another gummy piece. Alright, and I think... Yeah, we'll have to open this gate from the other side. So, let's go on back. And... We gotta find Kyrie. That's what we came here to do. So let's go ahead and do it. I think these are Dalmatians. Uh, guess not. Alright, so these little electric balls things summon the lift. And this is where, like, the issue I was talking to you a long time ago was, uh, came into effect. Where in order to examine these things, you there needs to be no enemies near you. Or around you. You know, you need to be in a state of non-combat, which is why it's really annoying. That's really annoying, and they fixed that in the second game. Ugh. Beast, do something! There you go. My Sonic Light does absolutely nothing. Thunder. There we go. So I gotta use the thunder magic. Thunder and gravity. Fire and blizzard at this point are pretty darn useless. My beast attack. Oh, wait. Guess we skipped over him. Alright, so there's six princesses here. After you play this game, you will never read the word keyhole the same ever again. You know, I think it would be pretty obvious that the keyhole would be in the dark glowing portal of heart. Close, I can feel it. Are you ready for them? <gasps> no.
Oh, damn. Quit while you can. No, not without Kyrie. The darkness will destroy you. Oh, damn. You're wrong, Riku. The darkness may destroy my body, but it can't touch my heart. My heart will stay with my friends. It'll never die. Really? We'll, we'll just see about that. Ah! Alright. Take note of where Goofy is right now. Didn't even... BAM! ain't gonna go anywhere. You'd betray your king? Not on your life. But I'm not gonna betray Sora either, cause he's become one of my best buddies after all we've been through together. See you later, Donald! Could you tell the king I'm really sorry? Hold on, Goofy! We'll tie up together! Well, you know, I'm the one and right for all. I guess you're stuck with us, Sora. Thanks a lot. Donald, Goofy. How will you fight without a weapon? I know now I don't need the Keyblade. I've got a better weapon. My heart! <laughs> Your heart? What good will that weak little thing do for you? Although my heart may be weak, it's not alone. It's grown with each new experience, and it's found a home with all the friends I've made. I've become part of their heart just as they've become a part of mine. And if they think of me now and then, if they don't forget me, then our hearts will be one. Epic pose. I don't need a weapon. My friends are my power. Keep telling yourself that, Sora. <gasps> yeah, I got Olympia. Good thing Riku has a backup blade. Lesson to be learned. Always have a backup blade. Yeah. Oh shoot. Do it again. Oh what? I didn't know he could hurt me. Yeah. I'm just doing this over and over again. This is pretty cool. Took him out almost instantly. I played through this fight uh, in Final Mix, and I didn't use any of those abilities. But it took me a long time. That was quick, though. Yeah, that's right. Run, you coward. So your heart won this battle. What about Bell? Did you kill that little tiny heartless? And we learned the White Trinity. And that is the last of the Trinities. Trinity abilities, whatever. So, yeah. Even though Beast is pretty strong, he's kind of useless when he doesn't have magic power. And uh, we could replace Donald with him so that Goofy can give him magic power, but I prefer that I have that magic power in reserve instead of him. So let's take a look at this next puzzle here. Actually, how much time do we have? Eesh, 24 minutes. Alright. Examine this. There are four sockets. What goes in them? This is really Legend of Zelda ask. So, in the next episode, guys, we will find a way to get through this door. Tune in then.